Good morning and uh, glad to be with you today. Uh, it is Monday, September 14th, and it's, it, this is uh, it's the first Monday of my kids' school year, so pray for them as they're experiencing Monday uh, for the first time. Uh, Noel packed for me today. I'm out uh, doing a couple things uh, today. Uh, Noel packed for me my, at, my ultimate fall survival kit, and I believe should be everybody's ultimate fall survival kit, a bag of candy corn this is the stuff right here it's the stuff dreams are made of and it'll get you through the day so I recommend highly recommend candy corn I also like the chocolate ones too those are pretty good but anyway uh, hopefully you have your fall survival kit all set and ready to go uh, and uh, that we could survive it it's um, man it was in the 30s this morning when I first got out it says my car says 40 degrees outside uh, so we are a little chilly, but but it's it's workable. It's doable, usable. Uh, we're in Psalm 31 today, uh, and I wanted to share with you just a couple of uh, thoughts here from Psalm 31. We're kind of right in the middle of the psalm. Uh, we're we'll uh, I know we kind of uh, we'll kind of backtrack this a little bit to get some context. So let's look at Psalm 31, and let's look at verse number nine. Uh, the Bible says, Have mercy upon me, O Lord, for I am in trouble. Mine eye is consumed with grief, yea, my soul and my belly. Uh, for my life is spent with grief, and my years with sighing. My strength faileth because of mine iniquity, and my bones are consumed. I was a reproach among all mine enemies, but especially among my neighbors, and a fear to mine acquaintance. Uh, they that did see me without fled from me. It says, I am forgotten as a dead man out of mind. I am like a broken vessel. And so just uh, just a couple thoughts today uh, from, from David here. We kind of get a glimpse into uh, David's heart, David's mindset here as he's, uh, as he's a man that is uh, full of grief, full of sorrow at this at this uh, specific time in his life. He's asking the Lord for mercy to overcome this grief. And we find in verse number 10 uh, why it is that he's grieving so much. Uh, we, why he's uh, uh, spending time uh, you know, crying and so on. He doesn't feel well. It says his life is spent with grief and my years with sighing. My strength faileth because of mine iniquities, because of David's sin. That's the reason for his mindset here is because of his sin. He recognizes the fact that he has sinned, uh, and he's grieving over that sin. We see that he doesn't feel well because of that sin. He's experienced great heartache. We see that even his physical well-being is affected or has affected or has been affected by his sin. Uh, and then his relationships with people uh, have been affected because of his sin. Uh, and so uh, don't, uh, in your life, don't just give sin a free pass. Man, we've, we've got to recognize sin for what it is and deal with it, knowing that it affects us emotionally, it affects us spiritually, it affects us physically, it affects us mentally. That's what sin does. And that's where David's at. He's saying, man, my life is a mess right now because of my sin. He says, I am forgotten as a dead man out of mine. I'm like a broken vessel saying, man, life is is a struggle right now and it's all my fault it's all because of my sin and so today as we live today uh, and live our lives uh, into the future as well as christians hey let's let's have a short accounts with god uh, and that when we see sin in our life let's deal with that sin because we don't want to suffer the consequences of it man it is a life of heartache a life of difficulty and so i just want to leave you with that today hey i want to encourage you i know this is kind of a kind of a downer a little bit but let's live our life for the glory of god live a life that the lord would be pleased with uh, and then confess sin uh, when uh, when it does rear its ugly head well lord bless you i want to encourage you to have a great day today enjoy this monday enjoy the coolness of the day here in northern michigan and we'll see you uh, tomorrow.